Equinox observations. These are my results. Uh, and these aren't official results. These are not designed to convince anybody or, or be presented as evidence. I really did this more for myself, but I, I did document a little bit of it. And I figured you'd be interested uh, um, in seeing some of these results just, you know, just for interest sake. Uh, again, I'm not trying to prove anything to anyone. The, the best way you could prove something is to do it yourself. But I figured you might be interested in my shadow stick sundial pattern and azimuth. Um, taking the zenith angle at solar noon and also the azimuth of sunset. And again, this, this really was not planned. I just kind of did this uh, sort of for fun uh, a couple days ago on the equinox. So the shadow stick sundial, this is set up on a uh, windowsill and I simply went out uh, about every half hour, um, not out, this is actually the, the room where I work, and I just marked, marked the gnomon. Um, I was able to uh, log into Nathan Oakley's uh, tracking the sun on a flat earth equinox uh, hangout, which was a, a, a great project. It was a 24-hour hangout uh, hosted by Nathan Oakley and and a bunch of uh, hardworking people. And it was really tremendous. So I was able to, to call in with, with some of my results. So this is what it looked like around solar noon. And this is what it looked like around uh, 4.30. This is... Um, what it would look like when I was marking one shadow. So you kind of see uh, see the shadow. Now take a look at my gnomon. And again, this is just a bent paper clip. I just wanted something that could cast a shadow. But uh, it really doesn't matter what you use for your gnomon as long as it's consistent. So that paper clip did not move. Therefore, my marks uh, should be pretty accurate. Um, and then this is what it looked like uh, when the sun had gone past the, uh, the window frame to the point where it was no longer casting any shadows. So um, I, I did take... Uh, take readings. And again, it wasn't exactly precise. I didn't take readings exactly every 30 minutes. Uh, you could see there's a gap there when I was a little bit distracted. Um, but I did try to take readings regularly throughout the day. And I also wrote the time uh, next to each reading. So if I want to go back later and I could you know, stick a ruler up next to this photo and, and measure exactly the distance, um, and I can also correlate that with time, like say minutes. Um, minutes after 8.52 a.m., um, then then you can actually kind of get a pattern. Like I could graph that, you know, graph that and uh, see if there's like a pattern of, of time versus uh, time versus distance. That would be an interesting exploration. Um, but you could put a line against these things, and, and I was really um, pleasantly surprised. I, I really did not expect uh, these dots to be so close to, to a perfectly, perfectly straight line. And again, uh, I'm just recording these things with a with a pen, so you can see the dots are not, you know, razor sharp straight. But you know, there's a little error. Of course, I'm a little scribbling with my pen, so it's not perfect. But but these things were really, really, really a straight line. Um, and another interesting thing is the the solar noon. I didn't make a mark at solar noon. I made a mark a couple minutes later. Um, but uh, the solar noon is is really essentially where the gnomon is is closest to this line. Now here's where I took these uh, images. This is uh, a building with a south-facing window. Uh, and I've got the latitude longitude there so you can look this up. Um, and so let's zoom in on the building. And again, the, the red circle is approximately where I was, uh, I was recording these images. Uh, let's turn the building around so that we're facing south. And what I did is I, uh, the building is not exactly east-west. It's really, really close. And so I, I took very caref careful measurements. And it turns out the building is oriented 1.3 degrees from the east-west azimuth. Now, if you take a look at my pattern of shadows, um, measured from the windowsill, it's uh, 0.8 degrees off of the windowsill. So what does this mean? Uh, so let's make a diagram so we can make sense of this. So let's start with an uh, east-west azimuth. And this is an exaggerated diagram, not a not you know the, the degrees aren't aren't true uh, just to illustrate the point so the building is 1.3 degrees off of an east-west azimuth but my shadows were 0 0.8 de degrees from the building uh, so what does that mean it means I was a half a degree I was a half a degree off the east-west azimuth so let's take a look at an actual drawing that is really to scale so you really get a sense of what my error was so again let's start off with an east-west azimuth and then the top line is uh, my pattern of shadows so I was, I was very pleased with this, uh, with this result because, again, I'm not using scientific equipment. I'm just using a paper clip and a ballpoint pen and a piece of cardboard. So, but I was very pleased with that. Um, so the next is Solar Noon. Uh, and again, I was able to log into uh, the Hangout hosted by Nathan Oakley. And here's just me you know, holding up the, the solar clinometer um, just for show and tell. 
And again, you start with a pencil, you stab it through an index card, you tape on a, um, a protractor to the pencil, and then you hang a weight. And it was just a string and a binder clip. Hang it from the hole, the vertex hole. And the idea is that you point the pencil towards the sun. So when you point the pencil towards the sun, you want to wait for the shadow to disappear from the index card. That's how you know you're perfectly, perfectly aligned at the sun. And then you just allow the, the string to hang down. And I, I apologize that I did not end up taking a still photo, a quality still photo. This is just a, a screen grab from the video. Uh, so I did this live um, in the Hangout, and, and I read the, I could read the scale because I was standing next to it, and it was exactly 50 degrees. I'm sorry, it was 40 degrees on the scale, 40 degrees on the protractor, which means it was a 50 degree angle of elevation. Um, and again, it's a string. It was you know swinging a little bit, so that's, I'd say plus or minus one degree. But as a comparison, my latitude at that location is exactly 40 degrees, 40.0 degrees north. Um, so you can compare the angle of elevation with my latitude. So next is sunset. Um, this is a, a, a thing from Google Maps uh, just to, for me to show you approximately where I was standing. Now, there was no photo. The, the Google, the Google um, Street View does not have a photo taken from that exact location. So this is off by about six feet. I'm, I'm standing about six feet to the left of the orientation of this. So it doesn't match exactly. Uh, but this, so let me just go back and forth. So you kind of see the, you know, the, some of the landmarks, but this is, um, this is facing exactly west. This is a few moments, um, maybe a couple minutes before, before actual sunset. I think this might be about halfway through sunset. And then this is literally seconds before the sun winked out. Uh, and it was exactly due west. Um, so I just did this kind of for fun. I mean, I, I'm, I'm interested in collecting data, and I'm, I encourage other people to collect their own data. And, I, and again, I didn't do this to, to, to prove anything, um, but it was a, a, a pleasurable experience. And so I, I hopefully hopefully somebody is, is going to get something positive out of this. And I just want to encourage everybody, um, you know, collect your own data, um, but also try to, try to give somebody a smile today um, or cause somebody to smile. So thank you.